Reforms to the church's marriage annulment process take effect in December at the beginning of the Holy Year of Mercy. The changes will simplify and speed up the annulment process, placing much of the responsibility with local bishops. The reform calls for an expedited process to be completed within 45 days. Nearly half of all annulment cases worldwide come from the U.S., due in part to our well-organized tribunal system. Bishop Thomas John Peprocki from the Diocese of Springfield, Illinois, joining us by Skype. You are a civil and canon lawyer. Could you clarify the difference between a divorce and an annulment? Well, there's a very important difference between a divorce and an annulment. A divorce in civil laws where uh, the parties go before a judge and ask him to, to end the marriage, actually terminating uh, a marriage that did exist. Whereas in, in canon law, the whole idea of a, a declaration of nullity, as it really is technically called, is where you go before uh, a tribunal judge and uh, they look at whether or not there was valid consent. Uh, and that's the question of whether or not there was ever a valid marriage there from the beginning. And a declaration of nullity says because of the lack of consent, there really never was a marriage. Do you see challenges in implementing the Pope's directives? I think that here in the United States, uh, it will not be that difficult to implement the Pope's directives because we have uh, functioning tribunals that uh, we're blessed with many resources to have trained canon lawyers. That's not part. That's not true in other parts of the world that don't necessarily have trained canonists or, or uh, functioning tribunals. And I think the Pope is trying to address those situations as well. Uh, for us, I think the things that'll be most welcome would be the elimination of fees and and the elimination of the automatic uh, appeal. But uh, other than that, I think that uh, our tribunals are, are functioning pretty well in our country. We're still trying to figure out uh, what this new short form or expedited uh, process is, a fast track, if you want to call it that, uh, which is going to be completely new, and we're, we have to try to figure out what uh, is involved with that. Very briefly, what do you think is the Holy Father's intention here? What he's saying here is uh, trying to encourage people to make use of the processes that we have in the church for declarations of nullity, and for those uh, dioceses that don't have those processes in place, he's trying to encourage them uh, to facilitate the, uh, the, the, the establishment of these processes. Bishop Thomas John Peprocki, thank you for joining us, Your Excellency. You're welcome.